this video, I'm going to give my spin on the Amex Gold cancellation discussion. There is so much chatter on the tube about replacing the American Express Gold Card in 2024. And there's further noise about swapping out the Amex Gold Card with the Capital One Saver <gasps> One. Guys, that's nonsense. Just nonsense. Now you know where I stand. I recognize that this card isn't for everyone and I certainly will be keeping my Amex Gold Card. But if I were to entertain the thought of canceling it, this is how I'd approach it because I'm always up for a challenge. For those new to the channel, I'm Richard Debs and I'm an avid traveler. If you enjoy my take on credit card usage, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead. Let's get into what I would have to take into consideration if I actually had to replace my Amex Gold card. First, we'd have to determine how I use the card. Second, we need to determine the replacement card lineup because it takes an army to dethrone the king. So here's my current Amex Gold usage. I use it at supermarkets and earn 4X, and I use it for dining and earn 4X. I currently do not use the Gold Card's 3X multiplier on flights. All my paid flights are on my Amex Platinum, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and occasionally on my Capital One Venture X. So let's talk about supermarkets. To swap out the Gold Card on supermarket spend, a solid workhorse is required. As a result, I recommend the super flexible City Custom Cash, which is a free card. This card earns 5X on your top category spend up to $500 in a billing cycle. For folks who eat out often, this this might work, but realistically, most folks will surpass the $500 a month in supermarket spend, which would result in 1x on the overage, which isn't a winner in my book. That's why I recommend having two city custom cash cards to get the job done. This now raises the maximum to $1,000 a month in supermarket spend at 5x. I expect that this will suffice for most folks, but perhaps not families. To be honest, it doesn't even fit my use case because your boy likes to eat. That's why I recommend having three city custom cash cards. I'm an authorized user on the third card, but it's all in the family going towards 5X on $1,500 in supermarket spend monthly. <laughs> I've shared on this channel that I have two city premieres, which was always a temporary setup as I was awaiting a product change. That time came a couple months ago when I was finally able to product change to a second city custom cash. So I am no longer using a city custom cash card to pay for gas. I have a different plan, which I will share in the future. City currently will only issue one custom cash card account per person. Please note that product changes are not automatic with City. You must qualify with the algorithm. So there might be a waiting game similar to what I had to endure, but it's worth it because now I have three. Once you own two or more City custom cash cards, you must have a strategy on how to manage them. Here's my strategy on how I manage my three custom cash cards. It's one thing to own three of these cards, but to optimize the 5X multiplier, it's necessary not to go above the $500 on any of the cards to avoid sinking into the 1X category. For example, for simplicity, let's say you visit the supermarket twice a month. On visit one, you spend $300. On visit two, you spend another $300. When the billing cycle closes, you will earn 5X on the first $500 and then a measly 1X on the remaining $100. We need to avoid this at all costs. So here's the correct strategy to avoid paying 1X on your custom cash spend. Step one, align your custom cash cards to the same due dates. This is a task you may perform yourself on the city website. Step two, select your primary supermarket, which should offer gift cards. Step three, use each custom cash card once a month to purchase a $500 supermarket gift card. But guys, keep in mind that not all supermarkets offer gift cards in such large denominations. So it may be one to five gift cards depending on your supermarket. My primary supermarket happens to be Trader Joe's who sells maximum gift card values of only $100. At the beginning of each billing cycle, I march on over to Trader Joe's and purchase five $100 gift cards. I use two to four gift cards each time I'm at Trader Joe's. And I hold off purchasing 15 gift cards at a time because that's just crazy. Additionally, I want the flexibility should I choose to incorporate a one-off supermarket into the mix. My pup Q's is on a raw food diet, so I purchased a gift card last month at another supermarket which has the variety of meats that he needs. So I'm at Stop and Shop and this is actually my backup supermarket for Q's food. And so they have gift cards and you can actually buy one gift card that goes up to $500 here so this is good 
And some of you might be wondering, why don't you just buy a Visa gift card and charge it up to $500? If I were to charge this Visa card for $500, I'd have to pay a $6 fee. We're not doing that. Please keep in mind that with this approach of using supermarket gift cards, I am assured of using the full $500 at 5X on each card. I do have a second supermarket, which is Whole Foods, but I'm already earning 5% cash back through my Chase Amazon Prime card. So my combination of 5X at Whole Foods using Chase Amazon Prime and 5X on $1,500 at Trader Joe's fits my use case, but yours might be different. I happen to be on team travel and own the city premiere, which is why it was an easy strategy to stack city custom cash cards for supermarket spend. Let me make this real for you. $500 times three cards is $1,500 in maximum qualifying spend. $1,500 times 5X points is 7,500 points per month. 7,500 points times 12 months is 90,000 city thank you points per year. Owning the city premiere allows me to transfer those glorious points out to travel partners. This is a hint into my 2024 travel strategy, which will be issued in a full video soon. So that's supermarkets. Let's now talk about dining. How do I replace the gold card 4X on dining? It's simple. I've selected the built MasterCard, which is a free card, as my workhorse dining card. Built's normal dining multiplier is 3X, but I'm now on the record of becoming a built dining restaurant addict. They are good and reflect regular everyday dining options. Using built dining results in anywhere from 5X to 13X on your meal. So that's 3X for using your built card, plus an additional 2 to 10X for selecting a built dining restaurant. I only included 2X for accuracy, but I've never used a 2X restaurant. But on rent day, we're looking at 6X using the built card and 2 to 10X for built dining. So that takes us up to a maximum of 16X on your meal. Guys, that's unheard of. I'm averaging 11X on built dining. I recognize that not all of you are in built dining cities, but for those who are, this is a no brainer. And it has nothing to do with whether or not you rent or own your home because the built card is just a dining powerhouse. Sure, I earn 3X at Dunkin's or Starbucks, but that's only on small spend. My 11X average with built dining dwarfs the 3X one-off spend. So if I were to replace my Amex Gold card this is exactly how i would do it i'd use the built mastercard for dining and be sure to frequent built dining restaurants for elevated multipliers and for supermarkets i recommend a minimum of two city custom cash cards and utilize the supermarket gift cards to maximize the benefit and avoid ever paying 1x you might want to argue it takes four free cards to replace one go card yeah it takes an army to dethrone the king. If my situation resonates with you, then you might wanna try this approach or something similar. I hope that I've made it clear why I favor the city custom cash and built MasterCard approach versus the Saver 1 as a replacement of the gold card. The Saver 1 on its own is a great card, but when we're talking about a replacement strategy for the gold card, we need to dig deeper and your boy is always here for it. I'd love for you all to share your strategy on how to replace the Amex Gold Card in your card lineup. I thank you for watching until the end. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help give this channel some visibility. By the way, I know that some of you creators are watching, but never seem to comment. For all those new to the channel, take care and be good to each other.